running enthusiast or you could just be plain curious about running. Regardless of that, welcome to I Run for Ultra's 5 Facts About Ultra Running video. Since this is the first of many such videos, let's start by getting familiar with the basics of the sport. What is ultra running? The sport of long distance running is also known as ultra marathoning or the term we prefer is ultra running. How far is a long distance? Well, it could be anything that is more than a regular marathon or 26.2 miles. The shortest standard distance that is considered an ultra is 50 kilometers or 31.07 miles. Some other standard distances are 50 miles, 100 miles and 100 kilometers. These could range anywhere from 6 hours to 6 days. Ultra races can take place on a multitude of terrains including roads, trails or tracks. Ultra running's popularity is on the rise and more than 70,000 athletes competed in ultra races last year. When did the first ultra race take place? Ultra running has known its roots to go way, way back. The first ultra runners were native peoples when the tribal men would run for days through harsh conditions with little food and sometimes even without shoes. This could be for a number of reasons including and not limited to hunting, gathering, expanding territory, etc. Ultra running competition started as ultra walking back in the 1700s. People placed bets on the distance men could walk in 24 hours. However, the first attempt to promote ultra running as a sport was in 1928 when sports promoter Charles C. Pyle held a foot race across America from coast to coast. The winner Andy Payne finished in a little over 573 hours. Who's the best ultra runner of all time? Yanis Kouros, a Greek ultra marathoner, is commonly hailed as the greatest ultra runner the sport has ever seen. He has also earned the nickname the running god. Kouros holds every outdoor road world record for men from 100 to 1000 miles and every road and track record from 12 hours to 6 days. What is the toughest ultra running race? I've got two words for you. Badwater Ultra Marathon. Actually, I have a lot more than two words about this incredibly hard race. The participants have to climb 19,000 feet through 135 miles of the Death Valley Desert. Considered to be one of the hottest places on earth, ultra runners try to run on the white line in the middle of the road just to keep the soles of their shoes from melting in the 120 degree heat. Honorable mention, the Marathon des Sables. Where are the most exotic ultra running locations? While in the past the choices were limited, today's ultra runner can choose from hundreds of races in all kinds of terrains and locations. Runners can choose anything from the Alps in Switzerland to the jungles of Madagascar or even across the ice of Antarctica, to name just a few. So now that you know a little more about ultra running, don't forget to tune in next time for more educational, helpful or simply fun and weird facts about ultra running. Don't forget to check out our other videos about ultra running news, yummy healthy recipes and inspirational videos on our I Run For Ultra YouTube channel.